Chris, you've chosen the most incredible woman to spend the rest of your life. Smart, loyal and funny. What a ten of a wife. To see Ingrid happy, loved with all of your heart, makes me so pleased about the marriage you now start. Ingrid, as I stand here today, I cannot believe how lucky I am to have found you in my life. Falling in love with you has been the easiest thing I've ever had to do. Our time already spent together has been an unforgettable journey and I know this is just the beginning. Chris, if you asked me six years ago, I would never have imagined this is where we would be today. You came into my life when I was a happy young woman, content on being alone and thoroughly enjoying the single life, which probably made for the best timing. I didn't realise until I met you that I was missing something, a part of me that I wasn't even aware existed. And it's been alluded to previously in the evening, but what about that smile? <laughs> I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking that when the word infectious was, was first mentioned, someone was looking at Christopher. Now, it's normally customary for a sibling to share embarrassing stories about the other sibling. I've, from what I've seen, that's what these speeches are about. But the more I thought about it, I didn't have any embarrassing stories about Ingrid. It turns out I was the embarrassing sibling. <laughs> she was the normal one. So it's good that I had a big sister like her to show me what life was all about. And I think I can safely say that it's largely because of her that I've grown up to the man I am today. And that's a compliment. You are the person who makes me feel safe. Who lets me be me. <laughs> who makes me feel whole. Over the years, I have come to love everything about you. But these are some things that stand out. Your daily kitchen singing and dancing. <laughs> often followed by a mini freak out the neighbours have seen. Your original nicknames for me, including Patola, Buttercup, <laughs> Gemini and Pedalstrom. <laughs> your perfectionist habits. I have learnt that if things don't match up, you will change them so they do. Your gentle replies to my demanding ways. You allow for my bossiness, yet challenge me to be the best version of myself. Your infectious smile, which always reaches your eyes. You make me smile every single day. You are my best friend and my lover, and I cannot imagine my life without you. You are such an amazing person. You are beautiful, kind, loyal, funny and smart. You have so much love and care for everyone and everything in your life. You are the most selfless person I know. These are my promises to you as your wife. I promise the Kardashians will be turned off when the surfing is on. I promise to never show anyone videos of said singing and dancing. I promise to love you unconditionally, even when your seventh alarm for the morning goes off. I promise to support you for the rest of our lives together and to pick up the pieces when you cannot. I promise to be compassionate and understanding, to listen to your troubles and lessen your worries. I promise that you will never walk alone. You are my rock, my lifeline, my home. I promise to be all of this to you, Chris, my husband, for as long as I live.
I promise to try and be the man that you deserve. A man that will respect and love you. A man that will nurture and comfort you. To be there with you when times are good and to be there for you when times are tough. I promise to accept and support you. To encourage and help you with all of your hopes and dreams. I promise to give myself completely to you. To be honest, kind and understanding. To make you laugh, to make you smile and above all, to love you for the rest of our lives. It's been a night out on the town and Chris comes back to your place. There are a few things you should know. <laughs> Number one. Chris is a bit of a firebug. It, it does not matter what season it is, hot or cold, if he finds something to burn, it will be ash by morning. Number two, despite his rather cute looks, Chris is quite the drinker, and if it contains alcohol in it, it will not be there by morning. Number three, Chris is also a bit of a climber. If there is a nice tree or a roof or anything high for that matter, you can be sure to find Chris there at one stage in the night. And number four, if we're all out on the town, do not let Chris convince you to leave early with him back to your house, as one, two and three will soon follow. And finally, to my beautiful wife. Oh, look, I said it today, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I'm so proud to be your husband. Seeing you walk down the aisle today made me feel like the luckiest man alive. Thank you for putting up with me. I know that I'm a bit to deal with sometimes. 20 alarms, lots of weird, unnecessary noises. <laughs> Double the housework and so on. But don't forget that I make up for it in other areas. Like getting rid of spiders and cockroaches, mowing the lawn, being your personal handyman, and also making you laugh, I think, from time to time. Ingrid and Chris, by the love that has brought you both here today, by the vows you have exchanged, and the sincerity and depth of your commitment in the presence of these special witnesses here, it is with great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Without further ado, please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Cocking.